Alvin Hosanna, uh, Marketplace Customer Advisor for AWS. Ankur Srivastava, Senior Business Development Manager, AWS Marketplace. So what trends are you seeing across a lot of ISV companies nowadays? Yeah, so there are three trends that we're seeing across the ISV customers today. First one is cloud center of excellence is starting to become a prevalent emergence. That means more and more companies are starting to identify folks within their FinOps, IT ops, SecOps, uh, and cloud ops teams to identify how they all come together and drive cloud adoption. Uh, that's the first one. The second one that uh, you highlighted that we're starting to see is around uh, the chief product officer. We're starting to see a lot of the chief product officers really lean into understanding what the evolution of the product life cycle looks like, especially with the injection of services like AWS Marketplace, how that product life cycle is getting accelerated. And the last, and obviously the more trending one, it'd be a miss if I didn't say it, is generative AI. Uh, we're starting to see a lot more companies identify how to become more gen AI enabled. What that means is as they explore third party solutions that exist from Gen AI providers, really looking at their own data sequences and understanding where those data silos reside and finding what we think is a holistic strategy that allows them to make that data centralized and then available for these third-party Gen AI solutions to integrate into and, and really be valuable. So those are some of the ones that I'm seeing. What about you? Anything else you want to add? Yeah, ultimately the value of why customers enjoy building and being be able to be deployed in AWS is not just the deepest set of cloud tools that we have available in AWS, but more importantly, the ecosystem of partners, third party tools that's available through platforms like Marketplace. Yep. If you think about Gen AI, the faster ability, the ability to faster innovate uh, through iteration, with a multitude of different models, for example, as well as the different data sets and different software stacks. This allows a lot of our customers to be able to innovate, iterate, and be able to succeed faster. And ultimately, this allows them to become a lot more relevant as well, especially if they sell and list on AWS Marketplace as a revenue monetization uh, component. I think the key thing that you just mentioned are, we want to make sure our customers are obviously always relevant. And the second is that they're accelerating innovation. And the talk track that you just mentioned definitely is, is accommodating that. So a core component of the feedback we get from customers of why they use AWS Marketplace is three different core elements. We allow them to be able to reduce efforts as part of their buying cycle. We also allow them to be able to save time. And ultimately, this allows them to be able to optimize and cost as part of the entire technology expense category. Yeah, one of the key things about that is, and that's measurable today, uh, we have a uh, service called Marketplace Value Engagement or a program called Marketplace Value Engagement, uh, which allows us to come in and actually help you quantify what those three elements actually result into. So tangible dollars and time savings that we can actually quantify for you and return back in a report that you can actually go back up to your financial leaders and say, this isn't something that we're thinking about uh, and it might be nice to have. There's actual realized savings and benefits that we can actually go accomplish. AWS Marketplace helps customers with their Gen AI initiatives to be able to explore the multitude and the wealth of data that's available out there, whether it's internal or publicly available. In addition to that, the ability to quickly iterate and build or procure pre-built models that feeds natively into your AWS ecosystem. This really is important because a lot of your data sets may be housed in AWS already across existing data warehouses that Ankur had mentioned earlier. So if you look at what Alvin just talked about, it means that there's an opportunity to partner with you to help you really define where those data silos reside, help you basically consolidate them into a central warehouse, and then ultimately leverage these assortment of Gen AI solutions that are coming your way. And if you don't know how to do that, well, just simply reach out to your AWS solution architects. Uh, you have a rich ecosystem of partners, our ISV community, as well as our system integrator partners that we can bring to the table as well.